Hey, I'm Mike. I'm Charlie. And today on Bax's Balls, we're going... Bananas! 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 Sit up, banana! So stick around and here's the intro. So as you guys have probably figured out, today's episode is about bananas. Not the fruit bananas. This is a snake channel, not a fruit channel. That's right. So we're talking about the banana gene and ball pythons. Ooh. So we'll get out some of what we have and we'll show you what we got. It's going to be a shorter video today and we'll show you a couple of the banana gene snakes that we got and we'll tell you what they are and just go through them and hope you guys enjoy. Okay, so here we have... Oh. He is a banana fire. So he's got the banana gene, one copy of the banana gene, and one copy of a fire gene. Now you see this black speckling, freckling that they're that the bow here has. Uh, that's it, they get the banana genes get that as they get older, and actually the fire gene reduces the amount of freckling. He's saying hello, Bo. <laughs> hello, Bo. So yeah, it's a. A banana fire in a nutshell there and very cool snake he's going into shed so his colors aren't as brilliant right now but he's still a very cool snake he's our first banana snake that we've ever had and he's actually a female maker and we'll get into what that means later on and this here is Lucy she is a that's right, banana black pewter. So she's got one copy of the banana gene and one copy of a black pastel gene and a copy of a pastel gene. Now, the banana is obviously the yellow. Um, as you can tell, um, she has like these black spots on her like bow. I call them freckles, I guess. Well, yeah, freckles, hey, that works. It, it, they're pretty much freckles. And she has more of them than bow does because she doesn't have that fire gene. Uh, and you see that there's a lot more pattern and darker pattern on her and that is due to the black pastel and pastel gene together it creates the busier pattern and it just a lot more going on there with it and she is actually the mum to the next two snakes that uh, we're gonna show you she's pretty girl i like this girl she was the second banana that we ever got this is our Banana head albino Alex. She is currently out for sale right now. I'm sad that we can't keep her. She is a beautiful girl. She is a stunning girl. And she's you can see that she's starting to get some of those freckles in there. And she actually had a shed just the other day. So she is just looking stunning right now. Yeah, I love uh, with banana, the purples that they have there going all the way through. As they get older, it changes to sort of another tone of yellow. So it, a full grown banana will be like two tone yellow or these will go a, a sort of a light brown. Uh, unless you get a super banana, those are wild. We're gonna hope to get some of those coming up there. But banana is some of my favorite jeans. This girl is just stunning. I love the pattern on her. So this is Sunny. This is our banana. Head albino. Yes. And our banana mahogany head albino. Uh, the mahogany brings out all these oranges and there's some pinks in the side there. Uh, the deep purples, uh, it, it definitely more deep purples, uh, which is, it sort of looks like a sunset, which is how he got the name Sunny. And he's a boy, he is also a female maker. Um, if, as you can see, he has very tiny freckles. You can see them right there, in there. But when he gets older, he's gonna get um, a lot more than he has right now. Yeah. So this was our last uh, banana snake that we're gonna show you. We only got the four. So uh, now we'll uh, go into explaining about uh, the sex link gene for bananas and how that works, if anybody was wondering. Now my dad is going to um, explain how the banana um, gene 
Okay, so it is called a sex-linked gene because it's normally linked to just one sex. Males, males, if you look on the morph market or any sites that uh, have reptilians on them or if they, you know somebody that has a banana snake, uh, 90% of the time it's gonna be a male because the gene sits on the Y chromosome and not on the X. Girls are two X's, boys are XY, if anybody remembers biology class. Ooh, ooh, eh. ah. So anyways, every now and then, uh, rarely it happens where the somehow the banana gene shifts over onto the X chromosome, then creating a female. So anything past that point in time will either create a female maker banana because the gene is then on the X chromosome, or just a female banana. We were lucky enough where we acquired a female maker banana right off the hop and a female banana right off the hop, so that was pretty cool. So everything that we have here from here on out is either a female or a female maker and hopefully some female super bananas coming up. Oh, that'd be so cool. So anyways, it's sort of a confusing thing with uh, the genes of it, but in a nutshell, that's how it works. And that's how we end up with beautiful female bananas. Banana! So, banana. Banana. Banana? Banana. 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 Okay, so that is this in a nutshell. So we hope you guys have had a good time watching this and enjoyed looking at uh, our banana snakes. So we hope to catch you next time and like. And subscribe. Share. Yeah. Share.